Good morning, everyone. So, <laughs> so let's start the day with this um, presentation then, which is about um, different uh, mitigation initiatives in, in LDC countries that also are the least carbon emitting countries. And then um, the question also is what role there is for ODA in this. And, and um, this presentation is, is and, and our paper is based on, on a research project that was a commissioned study by our uh, Ministry of Foreign Affairs here in Finland. And our field studies uh, took place in, in 2011, so a year ago already. And we had um, a research team with uh, Finnish and as well as, as, as Lao and Cambodian um, researchers in it. Our team leader is uh, Jyrki Luukkanen, who, uh, who at the moment, moment is uh, in, in China. So I'm <laughs> presenting uh, this today. And, um, 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 <coughs> well, the, the topic relates to this, this issue of, of integrating uh, climate objectives into development assistance and, and of course in, in many aspects it's a, it's a very, uh, well, it's good that it's, it's been recognized as a very important uh, um, uh, objective and in many aspects it's, it's, there are very strong grounds that this is something that, that needs to be done. Um, <laughs> And, um, uh, well, in terms of adaptation, for example, there's a lot of studies that, that have um, shown that there's, uh, well, very easily it can be found that there are synergies with, with poverty reduction, uh, which is the main goal of o ODA uh, and, and adaptation. But, but when it comes to mitigation, then uh, there often are more dilemmas, and, and especially if we, if we think about the LDC countries. And this simply relates to the fact that uh, the highest emitters rarely are the poorest. So th that is why there is uh, a concern of, of, of this diversion um, of, of funds then. Uh, and these are the four initiatives that we looked at in our study. So CDM, Voluntary Carbon Markets, Red Plus and, and EEP. I think you know the... the, the, the all, all of them except maybe this EEP, which is um, uh, Energy and Environment Partnership. It's a Finnish development cooperation program. And um, it's a grant offering program and it promotes the use of renewable energy, energy efficiency and, and clean technologies. Um, uh, so, so the role of ODA in these different initiatives is, is very different. Uh, well, this EEP, for example, is, is then fully uh, ODA funded. Uh, Red Plus currently, well, a lot of the, the pilot, pilot projects and, and, and all these readiness preparation uh, projects are, are actually funded by ODA at the moment, but of course the future is, is, is open and, and, and many see that uh, it will uh, follow the path of becoming a, a market-based mechanism. Well, then in CDM, ODA uh, has been somewhat uh, relevant, especially in the LDCs, because a lot of the capacity building for the DNAs and, and for the institutional setting has been done with ODA money. Well, with, uh, with the voluntary carbon markets, it's uh, not, so, not so direct, but often there are projects that have been first funded by ODA, but then they have shifted into, into voluntary uh, markets. Um, <coughs> And then one by Cambodia and Laos in our study, so they are both LDC countries and, and they've been uh, both central in, in the Red Plus uh, pilots. In, in, in terms of CDM, Cambodia has been one of the leading LDC countries in, in CDM and, and both are target countries for the EP and in both countries there's also VCM uh, projects. Um, <coughs> and these were the main, main, main questions of our, our paper. And, and um, so how these four, four different mitigation initi initiatives are, are, are able to produce uh, co-benefits and, uh, and, and also what's the, the, the possible uh, role uh, or what has been the role of ODA and, and what, 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 what it should and what it could be. Um, <coughs> uh, 
um, and why it's relevant in Finland. Well, Finland has been in some ways forerunner in, in different uh, mitigation initiatives and, and also in, in ODA climate related <laughs> aid has been relatively high. Uh, then, then there is this dilemma as well as with many other donors that, that actually uh, more funds has been committed to mitigation than, than for uh, adaptation. And then there's also this <coughs> difficulties and sensitivities in defining what is new and additional in, in, uh, in, the, in the climate uh, finance. And, uh, and this, this question, of course, is, is relevant then also for, for the um, LDCs, because if the climate and mitigation related ODA is, is not actually new and additional, then there is really, uh, um, there there's, um, needs to be very well uh, presented co-benefits there. And if there's not, then many LDC countries are, are, are seeing this as a, as a problem because they see then that there, there is a, risk of this uh, diversion of, uh, of aid. And um, <coughs> well, uh, s then a um, couple of words of the CDM case uh, from Cambodia. And this, this uh, mainly the co-benefits issue and then, then some, some words on the, on the ODA roles, role. Um, as I said, CDM, um, Cambodia is one of the leading LDC country in, in, in CDM, so it's interesting because of that. Uh, well, then in, in, in Cambodia and Laos in general, uh, there's uh, many hydropower projects uh, in the pipeline, uh, but not yet registered, but in, in, in validation or, or, or in more initial stages. And, and there's a lot of concerns because in this uh, region, uh, fisheries is, is, is highly, highly and relevant for the national economies and especially for, for many of the poorest communities and, and so there's a lot of concerns on these negative impacts of hydropower development and there people are, are then discussing that there, in this respect there's potential for, for mitigation and adaptation uh, uh, trade-offs and adapt also trade-offs in, in mitigation and poverty reduction. But uh, in terms of the re actually registered projects, uh, <coughs> well, there's a, uh, um, most of them are, are um, well, well, you can see the, the, the types of the projects there, biomass energy and methane uh, avoidance and, and, uh <coughs> and, and, and so on. Um, uh, Actually, uh, one of these uh, registered projects is already, uh, in a way, not not. It's practically terminated. So, so there is uh, four four uh, projects that are that are still uh, going forward. And, and um, then, if we discuss, uh, well, the sustainable development benefits in these projects. Uh, at least one aspect is that. Um, that um, I could actually show them through this this slide. That um, <coughs> clearly uh, the the projects are benefiting the, the biggest uh, industries of the respective area in in, in the country. Uh, in terms of local benefits, well, some of them actually had had them, some of them not. In in terms of social benefits. Uh, um, in, in two pro projects there were actually some promises for social b benefits but they, they never uh, materialized uh, um, and then employment benefits were quite quite limited and technology transfer well uh, in all these cases this were the first time that this technology f was applied and, and, and in that, that case it, it, it could be seen that yes there was a benefit in this, these terms but many of these technologies were also s of such type that there is not really uh, easy replication uh, potential in them. So, so we can... Um, I'll have to go back. So the, the, the sustainable development benefits were quite limited, and, and, uh, but what, what, what then related to ODA, the DNA, and one of the reasons why there's uh, 
relatively many <laughs> projects in Cambodia is, is, is because the DNA has uh, re uh, received different kind of support and it's been active also in, in promoting the CDM and also it was found that the ones, the projects that were uh, uh, developed in closer relation to the DNA actually had a bit more uh, concrete sustainable uh, development benefits and this could then uh, indicate that yes uh, the ODA use had, had a kind of, um, it actually uh, somewhat strengthened the, the goal benefits, but still in, in, in general terms the goal benefits were very limited. Um. <coughs> So, uh, <clears throat> in general, of course, there's a CD, uh, several di dilemmas in CDM related ODA. Um, <coughs> and um, in, in the Cambodian case, these were not the quite usual. Well, there's been identified that there's a problem sometimes that there's the donors might have a questionable self-interest at, uh, at play uh, in terms of technology exportation or, or in outsourcing emission reductions and, and, and so on. Uh, in, in Cambodian case, this is not maybe that much uh, visible, but, but yes, uh, there was some connections to that, that, uh, that the Japanese had been quite active in, in, in supporting the, the uh, DNA, for example, and then also some of the projects actually were, were uh, related to, to uh, Japanese actors and so on. But, but, uh, but in general, of course, this is something that still needs to be discussed more, that how to, how to um, uh, develop the, the regulation in the, in the uh, CDM-related uh, ODA, so that it would be clearly more motivated by, by the uh, ODA's targets of, of um, sustainable development and poverty reduction. Then a little bit more shortly on, on, on the other, other uh, mitigation initiatives. So in, in the voluntary carbon market uh, projects, um, well actually many of them were such projects that had considered CDM but found that they, they are uh, too uh, demanding or costly or, 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 or so on and they had then chosen to go for, for voluntary markets and, and these were the smaller scale projects that actually have more potential for, for the co-benefits. Uh, so as they went for, for <laughs> choose the, the voluntary carbon market so, so you could find more more co-benefits in, in those projects than in the, in the CDM um, projects. Um, then, uh, well, there were some, uh, some uh, concerns related to the voluntary carbon markets that related to forests and, and to, to Red Plus, and, 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 and there were some, some concerns even for the uh, carbon cowboys and, and so on, but the ones that were more energy related, they actually seemed to be uh, working quite uh, quite quite well and 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 so on, but even in the smaller scale pro projects like with the household biogas uh, uh, program or project, uh, it actually was was um, producing uh, benefits more for the better of farmers than than really for the the, the poorest uh, farmers. Um, <coughs> In ter terms of red plus, I think we have much more in, this, in the next presentation. So I just say that yes, there is a, a lot of potential for multiple benefits, but but also very difficult uh, areas that are still to be to, to be uh, tackled, and especially for in Laos and Cambodia, uh, there is a concern that how it's really how really the root causes for for uh, deforestation can be can be uh, tackled, and 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 and, and also that. Um, uh, well, shifting cultivation is often blamed for for deforestation, but 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 actually the, there's much more relevant is is these uh, economic land concessions, especially related to rubber and, and and so on. And it's still open how Red Plus really could compete with with these in investments and and so on. Um, with the ODA funded uh, EEP. Um, there, in terms of uh, go, go benefits, there were well, it actually was the was the best initiative in in this uh, in this um, respect. But even in the EP, there's still the dilemma of, of this hitting two birds with one stone. Uh, that how to how to really 
uh, be efficient in both in, in, the, in the, uh, the poverty reduction or, or sustainable development and, and, the, and the mitigation. Um, and, and so, um, <coughs> well, all in all, um, <coughs> sustainable development poor, uh, poor, poor benefits in these analyzed initiatives have thus far been uh, modest and especially in the initiatives like CDM that are leaning on, on carbon uh, markets. And even if ODA somewhat, somewhat uh, like in CDM case, strengthened the co-benefit potential, still there is this in inherent contradiction there uh, that, well, <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it's rarely the, the poorest segments of society that, that, that have a potential for, for emissions reductions. And, and if the logic is in maximization of, of CER, so this is difficult to tackle uh, even, if, even with, with, <laughs> with ODA use involved. And... Um, <coughs> Mira, I'm going to ask you to conclude. Uh, yes. So, um, maybe this is then the conclusions are here. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, so, ODA is, is, is often uh, better spent if it's, if it's channeled uh, uh, directly to, for example, enhancements of, of rural energy progression and, and, and sustainable renewable energy and, and so on. So, so thus our, our team was really um, uh, considering that, that it's a very relevant question, this, this uh, separation of, of climate finance and climate ODA, as some other researchers have suggested as well. And, 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 and in this way, when it's, when it's uh, not clear that the, the, the climate-related uh, assistance is, is truly new and additional, um, then it, it, um, it, it, it really should be taken uh, more uh, towards, towards this, um, <coughs> this uh, uh, support for, for rural energy and, and, and so on, and, and for problems related to uh, to poverty, such as energy access and adaptation as well. Of course, then it's not mitigation anymore, but adaptation. And, and, and in, in general, of course, uh, <coughs> then one general point still <laughs> at the end that, that when there is this, uh, this uh, support for, for, for example, capacity building and, and, and so on related to mitigation or, 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 or even for CDM or, or Red Plus and, and so on. So there should be more attention to, to really give support, not only for the <laughs> capacity to implement, but only also for the capacity to actually uh, influence, influence the, the mitigation agenda.